Since 2000, most Asia-Pacific countries have reduced malaria cases by at least three quarters. In 2013, 18 East Asia summit leaders established APOMAR to promote regional political leadership and collaboration against the disease. This was in response to leaders' concerns about the growing risk that malaria might become re-established, in particular due to increasing drug-resistant malaria in the Greater Mekong sub-region. In 2014, APOMA convened two expert task forces with representation from across the region. These made recommendations on improving access to life-saving services, as well as the financing required to deliver them. The recommendations generated a lot of interest, and with the support of the Prime Minister Joint Chairs, an historic agreement was reached at the 2014 East Asia Summit, where 18 leaders, representing 55% of the global population, agreed to the goal of an Asia-Pacific free of malaria by 2030. To make this goal a reality, the East Asia Summit requested the Apomar Joint Chairs to develop a plan to achieve that goal. After wide-ranging consultations, the Apomar Secretariat developed a roadmap. This is a document to guide a process. It outlines the six steps leaders and nations can take, both individually and collectively, to eliminate malaria. The roadmap will be presented by the Joint Chairs for consideration at the 2015 East Asia Summit in Kuala Lumpur. The roadmap reminds us of the business case for malaria, why invest, and invest so urgently. The roadmap development is being overseen by the newly appointed Apomar envoy, Dr. Nafsia Mboy. A former Minister of Health for Indonesia, Dr. Mboy has more than 40 years experience in national and global public health, including as chair of the board of the Global Fund. There is no escaping the fact that achieving malaria elimination in the Asia-Pacific region by 2030 requires financing. We estimate a total investment of $37 per person at risk being spent over the 15 years through to elimination, equivalent to $11 per capita across the region. The investment will directly benefit millions of people at risk in Asia-Pacific and the economies of the region's 22 countries. Investing in new tools and technologies could dramatically reduce the overall costs of elimination. Accelerating progress to elimination by 2030 will prevent 1.32 million deaths and avert over 200 million cases of malaria across the region from 2016 to 2030.